Welcome back to a brand new episode of Master in Programming. In this episode, I'll show you how you can navigate to three different pages from one main page just like this, by either showing a pop-up or presenting in a full screen and then navigating back and exactly the same way. If there's something that you're eager to learn, please continue watching and leave a like and a subscribe. Let's get started. Welcome back guys. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously create our Xcode project. So I have Xcode open here. I'm going to click on create a new Xcode project and then I'm going to basically go ahead with the settings. So I'm going to select iOS and then app. I'll click on next. Let's just give it a name. I'll just say navigation. Now for the interface, let's go ahead and select storyboards and I'm going to click on next. Once that loads up, we can choose where we're going to save it. I'm actually just going to save it under my desktop. So I'm going to click on desktop and then click on create. Following that, it will just load. As soon as your project loads, we don't actually need to do anything else here. We're just going to straight away just navigate to main.storyboard and we're going to expand our screen. And what we can do is we can actually just to have a little bit of a bigger, wider uh, screen to play with, we can just hide these two menus. And that way we just have all of the canvas here to play with. So as soon as the project loads, as you can see, we currently have one view controller just over here. So we only have one page. And basically what we want to do in this tutorial is that we want to create different or multiple pages. And I will show you how we can navigate in different ways, different transitions and so on from one page to the other. I've also created another video showing how we can move information from one page to the other. And I'll have a video, I'll have a link to that in the description somewhere or just popping up on the screen somewhere right now. Anyway, let's just get started for this tutorial. Obviously the first thing we're going to be doing is adding different view controllers. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to search up view controller and we're going to see that one. We're just going to drag it. I think maybe we can just start off with one over here and let's go ahead and create some buttons. So I'm just going to type in button. There we go. And I'm going to put it at the center of here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'll open, sorry, now I'll open the side so we can actually edit the button. And here we can say page one. And let's go ahead and make this bigger just because I can't actually see it right now. So I'm going to drag it again at the center. And let's go ahead and increase the font. Oops, increase. Something like this. And what we can do is we can copy and paste that a few different times. So I'm going to duplicate it, sorry few times, maybe just a third time. And we can just save it or put it somewhere here. For this one, we're going to say page two. And finally, that one, we can say page three. There we go. So that's basically as simple as it gets. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna drag in order to actually connect this one to that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button or you can also click on it over here and I'll click on control and drag to the page that I want to navigate to. So here I am and then let go. So basically what to do here is we you actually have multiple different options here and we're going to go ahead and actually select show at the very beginning. There we go. And what that does is that now if you run this app and click on page one, this page is going to show up too. But just to confirm, what I did is I basically clicked on the button. You can either click through here or basically select it from over there. And on my keyboard, I select, I, ho I held control and I dragged and clicked. So control and a drag and you hold all the way until you reach to the other page. So depending on your computer, you might have to either use command, control or options. For me, it's control. That's how I set my keyboard up. But for you, it might be command or option. So just play around with it until you get it right. Now that we have this, let's create the two other pages just so that we can play around with different pages and transitions. And I'm going to search up view controller again. I'm going to drag and drop this one over here. And let's just create a third one. So over there, you can just put it somewhere like this. So again, same exact thing. I'm going to click on page two, the button. For me, on my keyboard, I'm going to hold control. I'll click on the button again and drag to whichever one I want to go to. So this time I want to go to this one. I'm going to let go at the same time. Last time we selected show. This time, let's go ahead and try present modeling. And finally, for page three, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing. I'm going to click control and I'm going to drag it over here. I'll now select present modeling, but I'm going to do something else as well. 
So right now, and I'm actually right now, if we run this app, these pages will appear when you click on each single one. However, they will not actually fulfill or they will not fill the entire screen. So just to identify where we're going, let's go ahead and just add a label over here. And we're just going to say page one, just so that we know which one we're actually transitioning to. I'm going to say page one, just like that. Um, we can probably just copy it, paste it over here. And this one's going to say page two. And finally, the last one, this one is going to say page and we're going to just say page three. Now, obviously the UI here is not really impressive and that's not the point of this video. It's just to show how we can transition from each single page to the other. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run this app on my phone and I'll show you exactly how each single button interacts. All right, so as you can see, the app is now on my phone. This is actually my real device. I'm sharing it. I'm sharing the screen for it right now. And if I click on page one, as you can see, just like that, it takes us to page one. And to dismiss this new view, all I need to do is simply drag that screen downwards. You must have came across this if you have an iPhone. If I click on page two, it takes me to page two. If I click on page three, it does take me to page three. Now, obviously all of these are the same and they work well, they can present information, but let's say you wanna fill the entire screen, you'll need to do things differently. So that's exactly what I'm gonna show you this time. So let's go ahead and actually do that. I'm going to go back to Xcode. Let's go ahead and expand this again. And what I'm gonna do, maybe for page one, we can leave it as a drag and oh, as like a slide down to dismiss. But for this one, for page two, I wanna actually f fill this entire page up. So what we're gonna do is exactly that. First of all, over here, where it says animates, you can actually set it up so that it just appears on the screen. And that's actually what we're gonna do for this one. We're gonna remove animates. Now for kind, these are all the different options that you can do. You can either replace, but these are deprecated. So let's focus on this one. You can either push, show details, so replace the actual screen, present modally, or present as a pop over. For our purposes, I usually choose present modally just because it's a simple one to present and dismiss. But for the presentation, I want it to be full screen. So what we can do is we can click on full screen over here. And as you can see now, it fills the entire screen up. So now if I run this again, and I'm gonna do that right now, once it does, I'll show you that for page two, it completely covers the entire screen. All right, so the app just managed to run on my phone now. If I click on page one, as you can see, it's just a drag and drop and it doesn't fill the entire screen. It's almost as, as if it's like a preview, but I'll drop that down. If I click on page two, now it actually looks like it replaced the entire view. You can't actually dismiss it without a back button or anything like this. And that's exactly what we're gonna create now. We're gonna go over here and what we wanna do is we wanna create another button or actually we can create like a navigation bar. So just like this and we can drag it over here. Now for the title, now we can probably remove this page too. For the title over here, we can also replace it and say page two. And now we wanna add a button that will take us back to our original page. So I'm going to click on this plus button and I'm going to type in button. I'll drag that and I'll drop it right on the bar in the top left. You can also put it in the top uh, in the top right, but I'll just put it in the top left corner, just like this. And we can go to it by clicking on this button, uh, this icon over here. And I'll basically just say back. Now we can do the same thing, simply drag and drop it over here. But watch out because sometimes when you do that, you actually end up selecting this and not that. So when you click on it, it doesn't work. So I'm always gonna go to the left side. I'm going to click on back, which is our button. I'm going to click on control, hold control and drag it into page one again, there we go. And I'm going to click on present modally. And as soon as that works, now what we wanna do is we also wanna present this as a full screen. So I'm going to click on this button over here, just over there. And what we can do is we can go to transition style or presentation, presentation, and I'm going to click on over full screen. Now let's run this app again and I'll show you how that relationship just works. So I'm going to click on uh, and now actually that I showed you that it doesn't animate, we can click on it again and over here and we can choose to see it as an animate and we can run this. And now you'll see the difference between that one and this one. Okay, so the app is now running on my phone. And again, let's just remind ourselves, page three is like that, page one is like this, but look at page two, we click on it and it's entirely a separate page. It animates to the top, it doesn't just appear and it fills the entire screen. There's no way I can leave this except if I click on back. And if I click on back again, 
the same thing happens and it shows up. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it and learned something new. Please leave a like and a subscribe if you did enjoy this video. See you next time.